start whenever you're ready. Thomas, when uh, we spoke right after you committed, you were looking forward to finding out more about your role on the defense. I guess have you found out any more about that? Um, yes, I have. Um, I mean, really just kind of getting where I fit in and, and playing some free safety, some nickel. And uh, I mean, like I said, really just getting in where I fit in, wherever I'm needed, uh, that's where I'll be. And then whatever a couple like changes or differences between Oklahoma State and Notre Dame that you've kind of discovered so far? As far as football-wise? Yeah, or, or just in general. Um, it's definitely a lot. I mean, you have to go to class here, and it's, I mean, you, you're going to earn the degree. And, uh, and I mean, I kind of appreciate that. Uh, and then as far as football, weight room wise, it's, it's just a different type of a lift, a different type of um, strategy, I guess, when it comes to working out and lifting. And, and I, mean, I think it'll be beneficial for me being uh, on both sides of the fence and having had both, uh, both types of training. Which guys have kind of helped you transition well so far? Uh, DJ Brown has been, been really helpful. Uh, Cam Hart as well. He's been really uh, helpful with uh, my transition and, and learning the playbook and stuff like that. Tell us what's your earliest remembrance of Notre Dame and what is Notre Dame, you know, growing up? What, what did you know about it? Um, I'm not sure my earlier my earliest remembrance, but I mean, growing up, I mean, probably similar to, to you guys. I mean, you just hear about Notre Dame I and mean, they got a, a good football team, really prestigious uh, university. I mean, those are pretty much the, the things that I heard growing up. What was it like stepping on the campus for the first time? Uh, it was it was kind of mind blowing, uh, just seeing all the buildings and all the artwork and, and stuff like that. It's a really beautiful campus. Are you have you are you pursuing a graduate? Uh, yes, it starts in the fall. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet, but I'm definitely gonna gonna do one. When you had your pick of where you wanted to transfer to, what was it about Notre Dame that made you? Um, coming in, I was looking for somewhere that could really maximize my potential and, and help improve my game. Uh, and then, I mean, talking to Coach O'Leary, I mean, we really connected. Uh, Coach Freeman as well. And I mean, they kind of just sealed the deal, uh, sealed the deal on that pretty much. What have been your impressions of Coach O'Leary so far? <laughs> um, he's, a, he's a real cool guy. Uh, he's real down to earth. And I mean, you can kind of come to him with anything. and. I mean, he's real helpful. I'm sure you've been around a lot of football teams, but is there anything that just strikes you as being a little bit different here than what you're used to? I mean, what is the one thing you can give insight to our, our subscribers about? What's it like to be here? Um, yeah, it's definitely different. I feel like the, the team chemistry and, and just the, the, the way everything is ran, you can kind of tell that it's, I mean, it, it's, it's business. It's all business. Everywhere you go, even in the weight room, 6 a.m. Um, I mean, anywhere you go, that that's a team event or whatever. It's just all business, and and it's and I mean, they can they really care about you. You can tell that it's not just for football right now. Like they're they're trying to help you become great men in the future. And uh, and I think Coach Freeman is, is doing a great job of that. What is what is it about the success of Notre Dame that uh, kind of drew, drew you in over the last few months during the time when you had to? choose where you would go to next? I think it's more so, I mean, the success, success obviously, but like the schedule, I mean, they're, they're, I mean Notre Dame's schedule is, is one of the hardest in the, in the country every year. I mean, they play ACC teams, uh, Big Ten teams, Pac-12 teams. So, I mean, you kind of get a, a, little, a little dose of every conference, which I don't think is too many other universities can say that. Would you look right here, please? <laughs> Thank you. Do you view yourself as a leader? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I definitely view myself as a leader. Definitely being in college for four years and, and having so much experience, I mean, it's hard not to not to be, especially with the, we have a lot of young guys on the team and and, um, and I think that, that they view me, uh, they're gonna be watching me and, and seeing what I do, being that I got so much experience and, and, I'm, and I'm coming from a, a, a Big 12 school, so um, I definitely consider myself a leader. Can you describe your leadership style? Uh, yeah, in the past it's been more just by kind of a, a leader as far as not really vocal, more just show you by example. But uh, but I think uh, that's one of the things I want to work on going into the spring is just being more vocal. Uh, I think that all the great leaders, uh, if you look at them, I mean, they, they have the ability to be vocal and also lead by example. So I think uh, adding that, that vocal leadership to my, to my resume will definitely uh, help me.
what were the conversations like prior to uh, with making a decision with coaches, family, friends, uh, and then after actually making a decision, what were those conversations like? Uh, it was really just with my family. It was really just with, I mean, going somewhere that, that I felt like would benefit me the most as far as help me, like I was saying, maximize my potential and, and, and get me to that next level. And, and being able to be on a team where where I can I can show my, my ability versus other teams rather than just the Big 12. So, I mean, that like I said, that's a really big reason uh, why I wanted to come in. Was it an easy decision for you? Um, I wouldn't say it was easy, but it was kind of easy too. Like, uh, it wasn't easy until I came on campus. I guess I can say that. That's a good way to put it. We'll do one more. Yeah. What's kind of your first impressions of Ben Minnick and Padan so far? Oh, uh, the young guys, man. They're, I mean, they're full of energy. Uh, I mean, they work hard. Uh, you can just tell. I mean, their their football IQ from when I came in is, is much higher. And uh, I mean, I think the ceiling is. I mean, their ceiling is going to be really, really high. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank y'all.